blindsided, then burned. The Midtown attack that sent a man to the hospital with severe burns. The heat, humidity, storms are back, but not tonight. What to expect by morning. And New York Live with a new art exhibit that could spice up your Instagram stories. This is News 4 Now for July 13th. I'm Adam Cooperstein. It's a bizarre attack, and it came out of nowhere, leaving a man in Midtown with intense burns on his back, and all of it was caught on video. Look at this. You see the man without a shirt run up to a 57-year-old man on the sidewalk. He throws a hot liquid from a cup onto his back, and it's so hot, that man falls to the ground. This happened July 5th in Midtown on West 47th and 6th Avenue. The man went to the hospital with second-degree burns to his back. We're now learning what led up to a deadly crash on Long Island. It happened just after 3 p.m. Monday near exit 38 on the Southern State Parkway. Police say a Range Rover and a white Jeep were driving erratically and tried to pass between two vehicles. And that's when officers say the Range Rover collided with two cars, causing one to overturn and another to slam into a cement barrier. One driver was killed and witnesses say the two people in the Range Rover were picked up by the white Jeep and then took off. Police say that Range Rover was stolen. The search is on for a woman who drove through the front glass of a hotel that's serving as a homeless shelter in the Bronx, and then she just took off. This happened at around 11 last night at a shelter on Girard Avenue in Concourse. Police say a 26-year-old woman got into an argument with the manager. She was a resident there. They say she punched him in the face and took off. Police say when that woman returned, she drove into the building and then took off again on foot. We're told several people were hit by that car, and we heard from one woman who narrowly avoided getting hit. So I go downstairs on the elevator, and I get off the elevator, she driving her car towards me. I backed up like, oh, God. Like, you know what I'm saying? I almost had a heart attack. I'm like, I threw my hands up like this, because I was so terrified. The FDNY says at least three people were treated for injuries because of the crash. The monument that was supposed to be erected in Battery Park is on hold after protests from the community. Locals said that they were left out of the decision-making process for the design and the location. The state now plans to convene a new advisory committee to decide where to put that proposed $3 million Circle of Heroes Memorial, and it will include local residents. New Jersey residents have a new way to keep track of their COVID shots. It's a free app. It's called Docket, and this app is designed to give you easy access to your COVID vaccine records, especially if your vaccination card gets lost or damaged. But Governor Murphy in New Jersey stresses this is not meant to be used as a COVID passport. A man from South Jersey is coming clean about how he accidentally tidied up the wrong house. Louis Angelo cleans homes for extra cash. He went to a new client's house in Cherry Hill and spent nearly three hours cleaning up. He was almost done and ready to leave when he got a call from the homeowner. And he's like, hey man, did you come clean today? And I was like, yeah, like, I'm actually in your living room right now, like sitting on your couch, playing with your cats, like waiting for you to walk in. And he's like, uh, Louis, I don't have any cats. Turns out Louie had the wrong address. He assumed that he was at the right place because he was able to let himself in with a key under the doormat. He left a note for those homeowners apologizing for the mix up, but they didn't seem to mind. She was like, you know, my husband was really freaked out at first, but then she was like, you know, he, he did break in, but he didn't steal anything. The cats are fed and the, and the house looks great. Louis posted about his mix up on TikTok, dubbing himself the cleaning fairy. He says now he's getting requests to break into other people's homes to clean. All right, Maria, finally a break for us when it comes to storms and a little bit for the humidity. It was a nice break in many ways. We didn't have to watch flash flooding or big thunderstorms fire up this afternoon and even a break temperature wise a little bit below average. We'll see temperatures still into the mid 70s later on this evening. It's after midnight. We could see a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but definitely some fog and mist developing again as we get toward the morning hours. We have an east wind setting up a lot of low level humidity, and that's the formula you need to produce some fog. So as we wake up tomorrow morning, 
there will be areas where visibility is less than half a mile, especially along the coast from Nassau and Suffolk County, and once again down the shore and pockets of it in valley areas. Otherwise, a relatively quiet start to the day with some fog in the morning. 71 for the low in the city, 71 in Newark will be in the 70s and upper 60s for Long Island before we really see that turnaround back to heat, humidity and storms. Putting some pizzazz in your Instagram feed. New York Live shows us inside the new Soho art exhibit, Happy Go Lucky. Pop-ups are back and I've got a really good one to show you today. We are here in Soho checking out the Happy Go Lucky exhibit. It's an interactive art installation with eight themed rooms, all designed to inspire good vibes and blend fantasy with reality. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. Hi, Joelle. I am a little bit too excited for I know, this. I'm excited for you <laughs> to experience this. And you're going to take me around. You're going to yep. be my tour guide I'll today. I'll be a special tour guide today, like a fairy little lamb. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a good time. I can tell already. Yep. Should we go? Yep, you ready? Come on, let's go. So right now we're gonna go in the Diamond Palace. The Diamond Palace is basically to be your own runway, your own superstar. So here's what I love about this. You know, usually you come to something like this and you have to ask somebody to take your picture. Well, you have a guide who does that for you. Put your foot forward and be like this, like you want a runway. There we go. Ooh, that's right, Joel, give him face. Let's go. <laughs> when you look at the way the picture comes out, it's so different than, than what your yeah. eye sees. So this exhibit was in New York in 2018, but this room right here, the kaleidoscope room, this is new. So nobody has ever seen this before. You guys are seeing it first. I'm so guilty of this. You're normally like, put your phone away, put your phone away. But I feel like here, you really want people to have it out because you experience it one way with your eyes and then you take the videos, you take the pictures and you see it in a whole new light. Yeah, that's how we would like to take you in. Like, we want you to take pictures. We want you to have new content and show you yourself off and dress up. That's what, it, that's what it's for, happiness, confidence. Like, we want you to have fun. We want you to do that. This right here is to be able to be on the TV and see an image of yourself and how you will look. Hey there, Joelle Gard. Julo coming to you from the Happy Go Lucky exhibit in Soho, and I am happy to report it is everything that you would hope and so much more. Tickets are $17 for kids. They start at $31 for adults. Children under four are free. And by the way, when you leave, you get a free ice cream. They are open seven days a week, so come check it out. Well, here's another potential consequence of all this recent rain. Crumbling streets, sidewalks, and driveways on the Upper West Side. The ground gave way Sunday, swallowing two cars. And on Long Island, a sinkhole is eating into one homeowner's yard. And News 4's Ida Siegel is in Elmont to explain why he says he is powerless to stop it. When David Moultrie came home from work Saturday, he couldn't believe what he saw in his driveway here in Elmont. A gaping hole right off his front lawn. His neighbor had warned him something was wrong. Big hole. I didn't know what to expect. Like something was like an earthquake or something. His wife Rhonda was terrified. I couldn't even sleep that night. I couldn't even sleep. You worried it's going to collapse further? Yeah. It's what, about eight feet and about eight feet deep. So I didn't want any of the neighborhood kids to fall in. I start roping it off myself when it got caution tape. They called 911 and police came, but because it happened on their property, they told him it was up to his insurance company to fix it. Saturday I called them. They said somebody would get back to me by Monday. Monday I called, nobody's gotten back to me. And I explained to them the severity of the, of the thing. I didn't want anybody to fall in it. They said by the end of the day, nobody has gotten back to me. If you look deep down into the hole, you can see a brick wall that looks like a well. The owners don't know what that is. They don't use well water here, but they are worried it's something and more of their property potentially could collapse. Well, knowing I had just walked there and I know my daughter had backed her car, I was just thank God it, you know, everything was okay. David said he also called around town for help, but kept getting told to call his insurance company. My frustration is over the top with this insurance company. I mean, you take my money year after year after year. This is my first time ever having a claim. We reached out to the insurance company for comment, but because of the late hour of our story, we weren't able to get through. Meanwhile, David and Rhonda are now trying to keep people away from their house to make sure no one gets hurt. Reporting from Elmont, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.
Well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.